and the frustration comes into play is the is he's playing the system. He's playing the system out to a T the way he wanted. Um, he's been in and out of mental arrangements, of getting his mental capability checked out, if he could withstand trial and all that kind of stuff. And basically, it's taken years to get all this kind of stuff done when really this man, he he's, it's just, he's a murderer. And what it comes out to, the man's very capable of knowing what's going on around him and everything like that. He's playing out the system. Um, now, the DA's office, they've I've worked very diligently on the case. The only frustration with the DA's office is the communication. The people in the DA's office work incredibly hard. They they run around constantly 50 times in and out of the day of the courtroom. It's very hard for them to be able to communicate with us, and that's understood. But from my side, it's still frustrating. I understand that. It's not that they're not trying. It's just the communication. When I don't know what's going on for a few months, and unless I'm supposed to stand outside their door and bug them on constantly, that's how I would feel I'm doing, is just bugging them, then, you know, then it gets lost, it becomes paperwork, like every other job, is what it does. Now, you live in Las Vegas, but uh, you have to come out to Prump every so often to make sure uh, things are getting done. Oh, yes, absolutely. Every court appearance that we know that he's going to be at, every every instance we're here, you have to be. Victims have to support the family members that they've lost. If, you, if you're a victim, you have to stand up for your rights. No one else is going to do it. And then that's the most important thing that I've learned out of this is if you don't stand up for it they they won't and that's just what it is but if you're there to fight they'll, they'll fight tooth and nail for you the suspect do you mention he made a uh, confession he's made um there's several confessions there's uh, throughout the paperwork and along the lines he's even eyewitness pointed out other people that have rock solid alibis and there's absolutely no way that this person the people that he said did it could have done it um the man he he played out every aspect of this yes and you mentioned uh, your mother wanted to leave what uh, what led up to the events uh, making your mother want to uh, leave this man um not necessarily this man. It was just that would have been a side effect of it. She was just leaving Vegas. She was just tired of just lived here her entire life, forty you know, forty nine years, wanted to get out of here, and he was uh, just going to be left too. And that's what it was. Sad to say, but she was going to leave him to move back with family, and he didn't like that. And as I mentioned, uh, this happened two years ago, right here in Pahrump. Yes, it happened in Pahrump. Um, I do want to say that the the Nye County Sheriff's Department, um, they fought. They busted their butt for 48 hours straight on our time frame. I don't even believe that they may have even slept. Um, Henderson police, they were willing to drive out in the middle of it to notify us. Henderson police uh, wasn't even going to do it when they, to notify next to kin, have an officer show up at our door to tell us that my mother was murdered. They were just going to do a phone call. The gentleman was on the, on the phone trying to figure out where we live, get our address. Um, the detective himself was on his way from Pahrump at like 11 o'clock at night to tell us. So they, they, they door tore through that property and got every bit of evidence that they had. I, the Nye County Sheriff's Department, I'm, they worked diligently on this. You mentioned there was a trial date. Uh, there is a trial date later this month. There, there is, there isn't. This is where the communication error comes into play. Um, it was set for the 17th or around that time frame, and then now it's set for, a, a, it's in the courts, it's set for a change of plea um, on the 23rd for, of August at 9 a.m. What would you like to see happen, Melvin? Um, I would like to see that this man doesn't get out of jail. That's the that's the issue. Um, in my heart, my evidence, the things that I see, this man planned this out to a T. He's 46 years old. If he gets out in 10 years, he's going to be 50. He still has a good part of his life to live, and he has no connection with his family. He is going. He'd do it again. I I 100% in my heart believe he'll do it again, and I would feel like the scum of the world if. I saw that this man killed another person's mother, grandmother, wife, you know, daughter. It's just torn my family apart, and I don't want this to happen again.